Hello everyone. My name is not Winston Churchill or Nikola Tesla and definitely not Fit Populous, but my name is m 4 Wheel, And this is World of Tanks and uh, this is me playing the Centurion 7-1, the tier 9 British medium tank, alongside uh, my good friend Syrian, he, who is playing in his trusty tortoise. Whether this is a mistake or not, uh, well, we will see how it turns out. Um, we are playing on Erlenberg, or as some, uh, some, or most of you call it, Derpenberg. And uh, that's a uh, wait. Uh, yeah, of course, I've seen this replay before. And yeah, there it is. Uh, the best player on the enemy team uh, was claimed by Derpenberg and uh, found himself a very, very red grave. Some likely in, in, in the river in the middle. Erdenberg Assault is a is a kind of weird map. It's it's one of the most hated maps from, for example, uh, Creaky Baby and uh, other players, and that's because of the following: you, the river in the middle uh, can only be crossed at three different points. Well, five if you count the 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 low um, where you can drive through the water, but uh, on three different places. Yeah. In the, in the south, where the enemy team spawns, in the middle, and in the north. Otherwise, it's completely impassable and cuts the map in half. Usually, this leads to um, a very funny situation where you have two lemming trains, one zerging down uh, one side of the river and the other lemming train zerging down the other side of the, of the river in a different direction. Usually, uh, the game is then won by the team that can defend good or better than the other team or by the team who has the better or the faster zerg and in this video which is part of a yeah a two part series actually um, about uh, me grinding for the centurion action 10 because i really wanted to get uh, to be able to uh, participate in the a free premium tank event that wargaming had was hurting for the FV422, but yeah, um, so much spoiler, I, I, I didn't participate <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, that's basically because uh, I can't do 450,000 damage in two weeks while modding the stream, while doing my day job and while keeping all my other social activities up and running. So uh, yeah, it was kind of a waste, this, this, this grind, but yeah, um, well not waste, I, I got rewarded by a, by a nice and tier 10 British medium tank and if I like the um, the FE4202 um, I can still open my wallet and uh, yeah uh, buy it because Wargaming said they will make it available for purchase in the premium shop. For all those of you two viewers who might have problems on this map and who uh, think they can learn something from me, uh, at the end of this video I will uh, talk through uh, the basic tactics and how you, uh, the basic uh, information, where the important spots are and how to counter certain tactics, whatever. H how you can be a very a valuable asset for your team, basically, hopefully. Yeah. Um. So it has been nearly one month since I have released the video and why is that? Hmm. Yeah, um, contrary to... Uh, another member of the stream, or no, of this, of this YouTube channel, um, I have a day job. And that's in, not in any way meant to be an insult towards Phil, uh, but um, yeah, it's just that I am 40 hours a week, uh, I am gone. I'm somewhere else doing some crazy stuff about energy grids and uh, is uh, power consumption stuff and whatever and um, yeah also uh, I am one of the mods of Creaky Baby stream so uh, usually that means that when we streams um, I at least look at it and so uh, if I have a stream running in the background I can't do uh, um, voice recording and whatever and editing of video because uh, I would hear myself, I would hear Cricky Baby, and I would go completely insane within two minutes. Then, some of you might not believe it, I have a social life. I uh, meet with friends, I go to the cinemas, uh, 
fancy restaurants, bars, whatever. And yeah, that takes time, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, then there was uh, something that I got alerted by from QB. Uh, and that was uh, that uh, Master of Orion entered the early access phase. And one of the first games that I played on a computer was, well, it was not Master of Orion, but it was Civilization 2, which is, which honks the same horn as uh, Master of Orion. But then I think it was uh, in January 2000, um, in w one of the local PC magazines, which were popular back then, where there was no widespread internet ac uh, access, um, had for had a uh, for New Year's gift, uh, Master of Orion 2 as free game included with the with the magazine, and then I spent like at least two years uh, playing n mostly this game, and uh, it's it's awesome, and that's why I uh, as soon as I heard that uh, Master of Orion was early access, I bought it. Uh, not of Steam, but of uh, from another website, and then basically I played the whole weekend, and uh, yeah, uh, I kind of like it, but still it has a long way to go. Uh, a lot of stuff is still missing. For example, the entrance, um, uh, some uh, some races which I'd uh, customization. I also think the universe is too small, and um, there are far too many crap planets. And uh, yeah, um, it, uh, it's uh, it's it's a good first step, but uh, there it has still to make several other steps uh, in order to reach uh, the greatness of uh, what Master of Wine Two was. All right then, back to World of Tanks. Um, what has happened in the last ten minutes or whatever when I, I talked about? Uh, my social life and what I work and what uh, Master of Orion means for me um, is that um, our team pushed the right side of the river and then instead of falling back in order to go back to the cap circle or go to the other defending position where I am now is um, they pushed around and crossed the river which means that they all came in one by one by one uh, uh, on the bridge into some camping tank destroyers and artillery and uh, yeah um, as you can see from the team score it didn't go very well um, also you can see now uh, what our FCM 50T is doing he thinks uh, the most important asset of our team right now is our artillery piece so he goes protecting that which means that we are now uh, basically two people left uh, to defend yay Thankfully, this is an encounter match, and an encounter match uh, has uh, a 10 minute time limit. And there are no draws. If the attacking team can't cap or kill all enemy tanks, they lose. So, um, right now it's all about delaying the enemy advance. Um, as you can see from the map and from the last known enemy positions, got them Arty, um, they are all on the left side of the uh, of the map, and yeah, um, if you can delay them long enough, they won't have any chance to cap. So they have to uh, kill every single one of us. And um, l luckily, <laughs> the FCM hides in the top right corner, and he has a lot of health. So I'm quite confident then that uh, we can win this match if we can hold them off for long enough. And there's the next one, T-34. I shoot him and um, yeah, sadly he bought T-35 from as well. But uh, shooting him means he pulls back for a second and thus slowing his advance. Also right about now I realized that I am on the wrong ridge. I needed to go uh, to these bushes back there to have a ridge which actually protects me. So I get shot up by all of them. And there is the good accuracy of the British tanks, and but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I, I die now, but um, I don't care because um, while uh, we lost the other artillery piece, and now we only have two people camping uh, the very far far right of the map, um, they can't die in four 
three two seconds. So we won. Yay! Great success. Yeah, here are the post-game stats. <laughs> we got shot up pretty badly here, but still, we won. That's word of thanks for you in a nutshell. Um, that's how winners look like. <laughs> All that, except for a camping RT and a zero damage FCM 50T. Anyway, here's the tactic analysis. I already explained how most battles develop on Erlenberg Assault, so I will just point out uh, important locations on the map. If you attack, expect enemy tanks uh, to defend here and here. Uh, expect enemy scout runs here and here. And um, enemy artillery will usually hide either here, here, even here, or sometimes there. These are important locations if you can manage to support your guys going there so they don't die. Because they will provide vision for all your tanks who are camping at the back. For example, a lot of tank destroyers, as you saw in the last game. If you are defending, then uh, your key spots will be here, here, and here. That's because there you can provide vision for your teammates. We should provide you with firepower from here. Enemy artillery will usually sit here, here, or here. But don't forget that your main objective is uh, to prevent the enemy team from capping or to not die. Uh, and you can uh, prevent the cap from either here or here. Those are very good locations uh, to shoot the cap circle. If you need to run and hide, good locations are here. Just joking. I hope you enjoyed this little tactical review. If, you, if one would like to call it like that. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. And yeah, um, M4 out. I hope to see you, well, sooner than one month. Because one month was really too long of a gap. Bye bye.